All right, welcome everybody to another episode of NFL 2K5. We are in the division, the division championship round. We face the 11 and 6 St. Louis Rams. We of course skip the wild card round, thanks to Green Bay uh, dropping just enough um, because of uh, Aaron Rodgers not being there. And it looks like because they're 12 and 5, it looks like they're gone from the wild card round. I used to know exactly who it was. Here we go. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, San Diego, Tennessee, St. Louis, Minnesota, Carolina, Seattle. Boy, are those some teams. <laughs> are, those, are those some teams in the playoffs. So at least with this, we will have the division championship, and we'll see who will be playing in the AFC championship and who will be playing in the NFC championship. Hopefully this isn't one of those times that I completely shit the bed and uh, manage to... It's going to do this again, isn't it? Managed to get myself knocked out again. Uh, God, I don't want to press too many buttons, but I think it was F4. Yes, there we go. So let me just do this. Take the frame limiter off, and it speeds it up to 350%. And hopefully we can actually... Hopefully we can get to this within the next 10 minutes. See, it did this between the wild card round and such. Okay, there's one. Thankfully, there's only like three games to do. I wonder if this is going to be a thing every year or if this is going to be just a second year thing. Because I remember people talking about being in a second year thing. But I don't know about beyond that. Thankfully, like I said, there's only four games total. So there's only three games to pay attention to. There we go. All right. So overall, we're pretty evenly matched up. So I guess we'll see uh, how well this works. Oh man. Minneapolis. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this. I think I'll turn this up just a touch. And, and welcome to this NFC division. Now nah, we're pretty much pushing it as is. We're good. I'm Dan Stevens. My cohort, Peter O'Keefe, is alongside me and Peter. It's amazing to think that this game was twenty dollars. I think this is one of the few games that might have actually increased in value. Like, not even Mario games. I don't even think Mario games were cheap enough to increase in value. This might be one of the few that actually has, depending on where you get it. I like how we also managed to keep Blair Walsh from imploding upon himself. To the point where he can still actually, where he can still actually function as a kicker, rather than just completely fuck up everything. I've been playing a lot of Axis football too, so I'm kind of wary about how I'm going to be able to uh, play this because I think I played a lot more Axis football recently. That'll weird out my my brain when I'm trying to play this. Isn't Goff starting for somebody that's not the Rams this year? Or is it the Rams and I'm just ridiculously dumb? You can actually pick it up for a dollar? Okay. I guess it's more of an eBay thing. Like it's uh, like like if you ha if you can't find it at your local stores, that it's definitely hard to get a hold of. Like NCAA Football 11 for the PS2, like the last NCAA football game that came out for the PS2, like that's hard to find. Like I think I spent maybe twelve dollars on a physical copy of the game, but if you try to find it on if you try to find it on eBay, it's like thirty. Well 
Come on. Oh, shit. Yes. Go. 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 Yeah. Oh, it was close. That was awesome. All right. We're already in field goal range, too, so this is already a good a good good drive unless something happens we're already walking away with three points like if I decide to just be a, a dumb dumb and do something like that oh why didn't he catch it what happened I don't know what happened there uh, let's go to the quick out. I like the quick out a little bit better. We'll see what happens here. Oh, shit. I ran right into him. Well, I went and did the one thing I shouldn't have done, and that was go far enough away to have to punt it. And you know what? I'm going to take, take a shot at this. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a shot at this. This is not a smart idea. 56 yards. This is really... I'm going to aim it up just a little bit more. How high? Down just a touch. Let me see. Down right about there. Ah, that's. I don't think that's going to be enough. God. Might have been able to hit it if I had maxed it out. I don't know. He was several yards short. But it might have had a chance if I maxed it. The Rams have Kenny Britt. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Is Kenny Britt still good? I need to check that. I need to check that kind of stuff before fantasy football starts up. Because I remember Kenny Britt was really good during the Falcons days. But I don't know about now. Oh, get away! All these unused crib credits. Run it! Run it! Run it! <laughs> I wonder if I had just gone more to the left if maybe it would have worked. I don't know. Let's give it to Peterson. Let's see how a running game works. Passing game was iffy on the last drive. Erg. Oh shit, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Rams first thousand yard receiver since Terry Hall. Okay, well that's cool. Oh shit. I'm just dumb right now. Every time I think like, oh yeah, no, I've got this. This is how you tuck and run. Nope, that's not how you tuck and run. Okay, there you go, Kyle fucking Rudolph. Coming in in the clutch. Let's go. Good solid first down, that's just what we needed. Oh, I think that's six. I think that's six. Yep. Woo! AP! <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it. And we don't have to resort to some goddamn punter being our... our uh, he's, he's, he's being our... I don't even think he's the place kicker at this point. But we don't have to resort to our punter being the QB, which means I think we'll be pretty A-OK -okay in our run to the Super Bowl. I mean, I guess it 
all determined. I guess it's all determined by how I can make this happen. That's that's probably the kick that I wanted to have. Mm, yeah, that was still too high of an angle, honestly. Ah. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Doing pretty okay, though. We've been able to kind of keep him, uh, keep him contained. Well, not so much now. Third and inches. Let's see if we can make this work. I don't like that. Let's do the one next to it. It's more of a blitz play, and I know that's what they're going to be doing. They got Todd Gurley back there to do that, so they're going to run with him. Yep. Oh, we couldn't make it work. Damn. That's all right. Oh, my God. Our defense has just been on fucking fire this season. On fucking fire. I'm so glad I spent money on my safeties and corners. This has been... What a fucking year. How many times has my defense saved games for me? They are just absolutely with it. I like it. We might actually get to the Super Bowl this year. just a little bit closer man it'd have been perfect very close though oh. almost we're getting there we're definitely threatening him right now Definitely posing a good threat. Oh, good. Good swat. It's really fucked how this is once again going to turn into a game where the defense will absolutely win us the game over our offense. And by the way, I will never again take my defense for granted after this season. This season is going to be one of those, like, never take my defense for granted type seasons. Oh, shit! That could have been much worse than it actually was. Ugh. Good end to the quarter. Making this work. I like it. Again? We should at least flip it. If you're if you're insisting, we should at least flip the play. Just like, oh no, they're going to the left again. They would never assume that we... Oh no, I thought he had him. We had such an open space. No, I'm going to take a shot at it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'll run this play. We'll get this to Diggs. And get that first. Nice, easy first! God damn, my offensive line. Fuck. Alright. Alright. 
Oh god. I'm getting tired. There we go. Oh boy. They're really trying to rush this now. Are they gonna yep, they're gonna just gonna do, This is this is actually how I like to play sometimes. Is just like just for shits and giggles, not for like time management or anything, but because it's fun to do um Oh, who's injured? Oh good, Alexander, that's gravy. It's to just run a hurry up offense. It's always fun. What the fuck is this? Man, they're really dead set on just giving the ball to Peterson. I mean, I guess after the touchdown run he had earlier, I can see it. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, Rudolph! What do we got? Ah, uh, sure. Let's let's audible it. Let's audible it. We'll move these guys over here. Oh, Charles Johnson wide open. Nobody on him. I should have waited just like a quarter of a second longer. He would have really been open. Damn. I think Charles Johnson might have something again. Charles Johnson again. I'm liking this. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, let's do that run play. Boom. Oh, boy. It's, it's not the way to do things. <laughs> Let's bolster those numbers on the right. Let's go. God damn. Nope, we're going to go up the middle again. I'm going to force them to uh, beat AP. Fuck off. Ah! Got close. Yeah. Is that another Charles Johnson play? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, nobody on him. <clears throat> Again to Peterson? Jesus. Oh, we're just running time off the clock at this point, aren't we? I gotcha. I think I heard that song in 3D Ultra Mini Golf back in the 90s. Now let's make a pass. We're fine. I don't feel like pulling time off the clock when we have an opportunity like this. There you go. Base Kyle Rudolph. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's do this one. Uh, it's Ellison, Rudolph. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Ah! Oh boy! I was going for something different that maybe they wouldn't notice, but nope. That's on me. I was like, I'm going to do something they won't see coming. And they're just like, nah. We got guys all over the place. Good job. Six incompletions in a row. It's a bad, that's a bad, bad day for me. Oh, Griffin was almost there for it. Damn.
Damn, let's see this. Still got a minute left. I think we can make we can make this work. Oh, what the hell? How did he not get that? That's fucked. It really should have been ours. I don't know what happened. Oh, I screwed that one up. Erg, double penalty. Oh. Ineligible receiver. I thought he threw to tight end. Okay, double penalty, I guess. Sure, we'll just restart the play. Or did they move them closer? I didn't. I can't really. I can't really tell. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Damn. Oh, oh! Alexander's back in, and did a good job on batting that ball away, or at least contesting it enough that he couldn't catch it. Come on, baby! They still got to make some pass plays work, man. Fuck! Fuck! No! That's fine. We can still stop them before the half. Still stop them before. Oh, okay, we won't. That's that. That works too. I'm just gonna let them like. I'm just gonna let them win, aren't they? Aren't I? This is. I'm gonna Vikings the crap out of this. I I screwed up and jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped it like a dum dum. All right. We had a very solid first quarter, a not so solid second. Let's try to let's try to finish this off in style. What are you doing? No, let's. Here, I'll pick. That's what I'll do. I'll pick. Fifty verts. I like fifty verts. Let's see what guys I can get out there with that. Go, go, go! Oh! Oh, this is going to be like a la one last shot. Chuck and pray. Let's do angelical salutation. Let's give him enough time to do something with this. This is Cordero's opportunity. Oh no, he he's doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Vikings are out in front 14 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol. All right. It's got to be like play of the half is definitely going to be definitely going to be um Oops. We'll go up to 70 for that. It's definitely going to be Peterson. Nice. All those basically have revolved around a miracle happening, yeah. <laughs> it's because we suck. Or at least I do. It's even sadder how much knowing how much better we were we've been offensively and that we still haven't scored yet with the offense. It's been the defense both times. Or was it at least the offense once? I have to look again. Number 
Pretty sure it was the defense both times. Oh yeah, AP. AP did get a rush. That's right. AP. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Adrian Peterson has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter. I love those I love those pixels. I love the pixel people. The the, the pixel people that um you can literally see like the individual pixels. Although I don't mind just because you don't see them all the, all up close all the time. And hell, I mean, they managed to make it look pretty damn full with all the sprites. And this is on an OG Xbox or and a PS2. Can you imagine if they did stuff like that just for PlayStation 4? And if they just decided to, you know, opt for... Working with the gameplay and other awesome stuff instead of... Oh, he had it and then he dropped it. Fuck. Come on, Rudolph. What are you doing? Oh. Um, ISO. Let's give AP an opportunity to do something with his running game. Oh, my God. Okay. No, this is just going to depress me. Mm, I think I'll do this one instead. Digs. Digs should be open. Or Rudolph will just get... No, he didn't. I saw him there, and I thought that he would short it enough, but he didn't. I, I, think, if I, I think if I threw it like a second sooner, it would have been fine, but... I thought he was going to throw shorter than he actually did. Yeah. I'll have no one to blame but myself if I manage to fuck this game up. There we go. Come on. There you go. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Except this time I don't be a moron. Let's do this. Oh boy. This is this is asking for trouble. Oh god damn it. O line. Come on. Guys, please. I beg of you. Yeah, 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 struggling. Thank you for reminding me of how awful I've been thus far, and how we're and how we're definitely in the lead by mere fluke. <sighs> Maybe I should just be using Peterson more. Oh my god, I thought he, I thought if I could Oh uh, god damn. Ah! Mere fluke. I'm going to win this simply because they're going to awful the place. They're going to awful the place up more, worse than I do. That's how this is going to work. Winning simply because they were more monumental screw-ups than we uh, than we are. I don't know why it sounded like. 
I don't, I don't know if it's the people above me or I almost sounded like someone was walking around my apartment. I mean, I can look like it's an open kitchen. So like I can clearly look and see. There we go. Hey, Charles Johnson's always good for that. that Peterson run it a little bit that'll work right eh, that'll work fuck your defense it's been a little while since I've been able to say that thank God for AP thank God for AP Yeah, it's definitely the neighbor above me. Oh, well. That is going to be one thing I'm really going to love about um, my new place, is we're on the ground floor, which is cool. I, don't, I definitely don't mind being on the ground floor. We're also, like, it's, like, partially on a hill. So, like, the room that I have is in the very corner of the apartment, and the apartment is in the very corner of the building. So I'm, my room is going to just be tucked away in the very corner of the building. The only neighbors I will have are the ones directly above me. And it's monumentally hard to stream like I stream and wake neighbors up above me. Even if it's like through windows. I don't see that happening either. So it's going to be fantastic. Fuck off. <laughs> F fuck golf. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think if I were to wake anybody up, I'd be waking up my roommates more than me. And it's also another thing that I enjoy about these, about this um, setup is that. Um, it's also <laughs> crickets chirping. Yeah, I know. But the other thing I love about this setup is that it also um, has the rooms split. Like a lot of those um, two and three bedroom apartments will have like a lot of those two bedroom apartments will have the bedrooms like pretty much right next to each other. They'll share some sort of wall. This one is one of the really nice ones where they're actually down the hall from me. So I don't particularly see myself being too loud. I'm not a particularly loud person anyway. I'll like raise my voice at a game if it pisses me off enough. You know another thing I've also found odd? Like I've been salty at this game before. But, like, I'm much more of a basketball fan than I am a football fan, but yet basketball is the one that, like, the basketball games are the ones that infuriate me more than the football games do. Then again, I haven't played college football 14 in forever, and that's probably why I haven't been as salty towards football games, because it's, like, this and then Axis football, or Arena football. I remember being super de duper salty against... NCAA football 14, which is why I stopped playing. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can make this work. Let's put it down. Let's put it over there. Oh, that might be perfect. Yeah, it's far from perfect. I didn't think it was going to go that far to the left. I should have been about a second suitor. I, I like to try to do my best to cough and corner it, but that was far from a cough and corner. I forget what game it was, but they used to have 
I remember it was like a Madden game, and they had mini games where it was like, oh, it was either Madden or NCAA football, but I'm pretty sure it was Madden, where they had like mini game challenges, and one of the challenges was like the coffin corner challenge. And I remember that game specifically. I became amazing at punting because I don't know why. I just got really good at coffin corner punts. Fuck. It was probably something like Madden 07 or Madden 08. I'm trying to remember the one that I had. I had Madden 08, but technically I had Madden 08 for the DS, so... Not really a big thing. By the way, Madden for the DS was... Eh. That was something. When I was, when I was big into my DS and I was like, okay, I don't have enough money to get like a nice... To get like a 360 or a PS3, but I have this DS. So I'm going to get games on the DS. But, like, at the time I wasn't really big on, you know, any any strategy games or RPG games or anything like that, so... Any of the, any of the weeby games that were on the DS that would have been good, I didn't have. I have gotten... I, I did get a couple games that I used to have at the time, which was Super Mario 64 DS and Diddy Kong Racing DS. Fuck off. <laughs> I like how he was busy juggling with it, and he was just like, Puh! <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much. Just, uh, uh, Puh! There you go. Block that kick. Block that kick. Block that kick. Ugh. Cool. Oh boy, they're going to do this. You know what? I should probably not deal with... I'll come over here. I'll let the CPU deal with this. Thank you. That was close, actually, because it was tipped. It actually managed to get tipped. And they had a, uh, they had a chance, but... <sighs> so we're just going to kill the clock, right? Oh, yeah, I need to talk my dad into, uh... Ha oh, AP. Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's just give them an upper another opportunity. I guess you gotta take the good with the bad. You know what I might start doing? I might start physically having him dive. Like, because I used to do that in, uh, I think, NCAA Football 14. I would have the, if I was running with a quarterback, I'd have him dive or slide. It's just like, I can't, they're, they're made of glass, I can't have them get hit. Oh, Rhodes! <laughs> It's okay, we're keeping it, we're keeping it, we're good. Come on. Oh, no. Fresh set of downs. Oh, man, we're just, we're going to make this an exciting game, folks. I just, I just wanted to lull them into that false sense of security. Now we can play. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. 
How many times did we have to damn near have the God? Fourth and twenty. Here we go. Don't pull a Ravens. Fuck off. Let's end this game now. Peterson, please, for the love of God, don't fumble the ball. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be killing the clock here. So let's just have it let's just have it run off a little bit, get down to about twenty. And we'll set up those bounce physics. Dude, it's kind of amazing how much the how much it can like bounce. Oh good, yeah, give us give us a nice wide open nice wide open hole to run through. Perfect. I love that that little bit right there where he just reaches out past the first down marker and places the ball. It's the little things in this game that are just so much fun. Oh man, I can actually kill. I think I can kill it to the uh to the 2 minute mark. I might give that a shot cuz I think Oh wait, no, no, no. Play clock is faster. Okay. Erg. Two minute warning, and now they're going to be burning timeouts. You could have called it beforehand. If the ref doesn't see it, then it works, right? <laughs> oh, God. It's fine, whatever. They're going to have to start killing their timeouts now. Erg. And well, we'll we should be able to get a kick too, so that'll be nice. Oh, fuck yourselves! And now they have to take their final timeout, and we got a nice, nice little forty-yard kick. It's just what we wanted. You can chip it in, call it a day, and move on to the NFC Championship. Look at that. Cool under pressure, Blair Walsh. Bouncing back from the awfulness. I'm keeping him, I'm keeping him under control. I'm allowing the faith to, to get in. Oh god, that was the wrong guy. <laughs> I don't know why he dove at him. And they made their case pretty forcefully there. Well damn both sides seem geared up for the pass. Let's see what happens. Alright. We're up by two touchdowns. There you go. He tried. He tried. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get, oh, get him! Get him! Yeah, I got a YouTube comment about something. I'll have to see what that was. Oh, no! Oh, we're so close. We're so close to just boning them. Oh my god. I guess I don't need to particularly care. I can read this comment while the computer finishes the game out for me. I should play this every now and then. Oh, I'm definitely going to play Axis Football 17 every now and then. Once, once the game actually comes out, I'm definitely... 
I'm definitely going to be doing something with it. I mean, that XFL mod isn't just to be kind of pretty. Like, I'm, I want to do something with it. And game over. Well, we kind of shot the bed in the uh, uh, second and third quarter, but we definitely worked with it. Whoops, I forgot what I just did. Take a knee. Take a knee and run out the clock. Once it's fixed, it'll definitely need to be. Yeah. I mean, they'll have a simplistic franchise mode. I don't know what's going to be in that franchise mode, though. I guess we'll find out. Apparently, it's going to be very simple, like very bare bones. So I might just do away with having any sort of franchise mode and just do like and just do like uh, computer games like CPU versus CPU or AI versus AI and just keeping track of records and stuff because I want to do like an eight team. I want to do like an eight team XFL league. So just do the eight teams and then set up like ten weeks of football and the games won't take too long. Just do like the five minute quarters and then when we get to like the playoffs it'll only have to be two games so it could be ten. And then the million dollar game could be fifteen. So it'll take up the time without having to worry about doing the franchise mode and it could just be, you know, fun. Just a little fun thing to do. Without having to worry too much about what a bare bones franchise mode would look like. And then I could just focus on the fun of, oh boy, it's going to do this, isn't it? There we go. Just focus on the fun of, uh, of doing the games and then keeping track of stuff like that. And, like, running my own personal league. There we go. Oh, great. There we go. Solid wins, boys. I don't want to see where we uh, where we land. I don't want to see where everyone else landed right this second. I just want to see where uh, I'll see that on Sports Center. <laughs> You'd be down. Yeah. Just, you know, I could play the games each, uh, like, just do the AI versus AI each week. Do 10 weeks. I think that's what the XFL season was. And then just do the top four team, like, the top two teams in each division. And then and then the million-dollar game. Be a fun little thing. Not to mention AI versus AI games are ridiculous to watch. Because they follow this weird logic. All right, let's check this out. I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Chargers come away with a Shit, Chargers are going to be in the AFC Championship. Trey has the lowdown for us, right? All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary. Broken vertebrae, that fucking out for ever, out for life. Broken vertebrae, like you're you're in a goddamn wheelchair at that point. And needless to say, he'll be out for the playoffs. Oh. In front of you we've got the My neighbor tutorials on Blu-ray DVD for ten sixty. Might have to consider that. This guy won't be action for a while, so this offense is gonna have to make do without him. A broken elbow is the culprit. He's out for the playoffs. On to the serious news of the week. Broken ribs. Oh boy, one of their linebackers is out for the playoffs. Wow, what a what a game, huh? Seahawks, okay. Well, Bengals beat the Steelers. Shit, Steelers were the team to beat. Oh, man. So we have Chargers, Chargers, Bengals. Dude, Giovanni Bernard killed it for them. So we have Chargers, Bengals. And then Vikings, Seahawks. What a what a setup, man! Damn. So there you go. 
the championship rounds have been decided is Cincinnati versus San Diego. San Diego upsetting. Who did, who is San Diego upset? Because I know it was an upset. I guess Tennessee wasn't a huge upset. But Cincinnati upsetting Pittsburgh. That was an upset. I don't care if it says, like, they have roughly the same. Pittsburgh was on a roll all season. And, of course, Minnesota beating St. Louis and Seattle beating Carolina, which is what I assumed because Seattle has been killing it as well whenever they've been playing. Just imagine if those are the final four in the upcoming season. Oh, my God. Cincinnati, San Diego, Seattle, Minnesota. Can you say lowest ratings for a Super Bowl ever? Unless it was like Seattle, Cincinnati. Because I don't imagine there's a ton of Chargers fans. I mean, Minnesota's pretty big here. Like, Minnesota's pretty big in the Midwest, but I don't think there's any, like, people on the West or East Coast who are huge Vikings fans, unless they at some point lived in Minnesota or close by. So there are your that is your AFC and NFC conference championship games. Two of these four teams, the winner of Cincinnati San Diego and the winner of Seattle Minnesota will be going on to the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's just what a what a a set of of games. I can't wait. I I can't wait to see to see this happen I'm waiting with bated breath for how this is going to work Chargers might get interest because of seeing Rivers can finally win one yeah good point Seattle would Seattle would bring a lot to it I don't know if Minnesota would especially now with AP technically not there at least in this game, AP's here. So seeing like a young, hungry team getting there and getting the farthest they've been since Brett Favre got them there and potentially capturing their first Super Bowl win after losing four times. But yeah. Either way, interesting series of games. Hopefully we can uh, shake off how we performed against the Rams and do a little bit better against the Seahawks and eventually hopefully beat them because uh, yeah I think I lost in the division game last year so this year hopefully I can uh, walk away with an NFC championship victory and hopefully a Super Bowl victory there's an NFL 2 oh yeah there is an NFL 2k twitch thing I think I've I think I've seen you I think you've been here before and and yeah that's right you, you you've shown up here a few times hello by the way <laughs> i'm just about ready to leave because it's been about three hours but thanks for dropping by right as soon as i'm ready to leave <laughs> i'm sorry but uh yeah so i will at least mention that to you guys uh here live thank you very much for dropping by that will be for the next time i play this we will have our nfc championship game and those of you who are watching this on YouTube, thank you for continuously watching this as well. And yeah, hopefully we can get we can actually get farther than any real Vikings team has thus far. So thank you guys and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>